Hey everyone, today we are in Kingfisher, Oklahoma, and I thought I would tell another story about those that are located within the Kingfisher Cemetery. So today we're going to focus on one person, a lawman. Let me show you who I'm talking about. So on the far east side of the cemetery is the person that we are here to look for today. And it is an important lawman within Oklahoma history. And if you look closely, you can kind of see his marker as we approach. It's a U.S. Marshal, William D. Fawcett. November 3rd, 1851 to March 9th, 1940. King Fisher's first homesteader, April 22nd, 1889. So he was a pioneer in the land run when the lands opened up here. It says U.S. Marshal, and you can see the emblem there. Chief Deputy U.S. Marshal from 1897 to 1902. And U.S. Marshal from 1902 to 1906. William D. Fawcett, or Bill as he was better known, was a frontiersman, pioneer, detective, and marshal in the Old West. Most of this occurred in Kansas and Oklahoma. Bill was a native of New York, but he homesteaded in southern Kansas in 1873. There he rode the Chisholm Trail driving cattle herds and wild horses. In 1881, Fawcett began a career as a lawman when he served as assistant city marshal of Caldwell, Kansas during its reckless period. In 1883, he became Marshal of Kingman, Kansas until 1887. Following that stint, he worked on construction crews building the railroads until 1889. At that time, he joined thousands of others taking part in the Oklahoma land rush. On April 22, 1889, he claimed a homestead in Kingfisher, Oklahoma and became the first to do so. He then went to work as a detective for the Rock Island Railway in 1897. After that, he made a career move to become the chief U.S. Marshal in Guthrie, Oklahoma until 1902. Then he received a presidential appointment as U.S. Marshal for Oklahoma Territory serving from 1902 to 1906. During that time, he served with U.S. Deputy Marshals Heck Thomas, Bill Tillman, and Sheriff Reinhead. Together they got a Doolin gang member named Little Dick West near Guthrie, Oklahoma. The four lawmen split the 2000 Dead or Alive reward. When outlaws Bob Hughes and Bill Borland and other gang members tried to rob a Rock Island train near Pond Creek, Oklahoma, they were surprised to find Deputy Marshal Fawcett guarding the train. Fawcett killed the outlaw leader Bob Hughes in the fray and the rest of the gang fled without any loot. They were captured a few days later by Deputy Marshal Chris Madsen. Fawcett also rode with Bill Banks and other posse members when they drove out the notorious Zip Wyatt and Ike Black from their stronghold in the Gloss Mountains, which ultimately resulted in the death of the fugitives. Bill became city marshal at Warica, Oklahoma in 1908 and chief of police for Rock Island Railway in 1909 to 1915. He was chief of police of Kingfisher, Oklahoma in 1919 and 1920. Next, he served with Oklahoma City Police Department and then as a U.S. Deputy Marshal from 1921 to 1924. He lived in Kingfisher, Oklahoma until his death in 1940. Bill Fawcett was one of the most feared officers in the history of the Southwest. On the back side of his tombstone, it states, I shall carry with me the knowledge that I have at all times tried to do my full duty. If I can take with me the continued trust and confidence the people of Oklahoma have herefore honored me with, I shall be content and satisfied. W.D. Fawcett So that's going to do it for today's episode within the Kingfisher Cemetery. I hope you enjoyed it, learned a little bit of something about our past within this nation of the United States. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.